This is Andy Perua for Boxing News. I'm joined by Joshua Boatze here in London. Josh, firstly, congratulations on your win last week. Just start off there, reflect on the victory against Dan Aziz. Yeah, man, of course. Very happy that I got the win. Um, I will never talk about the win without mentioning Dan. So we have to big up Aziz. It took two of us to make that fight. So, like I said, I'll never talk about the win without talking about him. Was the fight as close and as competitive as what the spars were? Um, yeah, they were. It got, it got to a point where I said, man, this is hard, but I have to go the extra mile if I want to come out on top. And um, yeah, it, it, for those that watched it, that weren't there, it was a lot harder in real life than it looked on TV. For you, what was the difference for you on the night? What made you the victor in the end? What pulled you through in that fight? It's simple. Something was at stake. When we spar, nothing's ever at stake, but there was a lot at stake. And like I said, had I have lost that fight, there was nothing... There was not a, a road to recovery for me. Nothing was set in place. So that's the pressure I put on myself. And when you guys talk about the pressure, this and pressure that, yeah, that's pressure. But there was a real pressure that had I have lost, there was there was no no plan was put before me to say, well, see, if it doesn't go well, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. So that, that was the pressure in itself. Josh, you've had the big London rivalry with Craig Richards. You've had a bigger one with Dan Aziz, despite the friendship outside of the ring. Now there's all the talk of a new one with Anthony Yard. What did you make of his performance there tonight? He dealt with what was in front of him. Um, uh, well, uh, there's not, I, I want to elaborate, but there's not much to say about it. But like I said, it was his moment in there he won. It was his interview. It's not my style to get crash it, but hopefully we can get the fight on. That's my next question. Anthony Yard doing interviews earlier this week. He's confident that a deal can be agreed. He's confident you two will share the ring next. All the talks being that you guys are in negotiations. What can you tell us? Um, yeah, there's talks, but a lot of fighters have spoken and they never fought. So I'm hoping it's not going to be one of it. But I think there's a fight that the public have waited for a very long time. And a fight that I think makes sense next for both of us. Is this the one which you want delivered to yourself more than most now or more than any other fight now? Say that again. Is this the fight you want most now? It is because, of course, the world titles, they're tied up at the moment. So while it's being tied up, I think this is the next fight for me. From what, again, brief limited fight there for Anthony tonight and against an opponent who didn't cause him any problems. But what do you feel like you learned from being able to see him once again? Well, I just learned that some people like boxing. There's, there's some people out here. Um, I learned that all kinds of people like boxing, so there's not much to say to it. Yeah, yeah. Question going to be, Josh, how quickly could we hopefully hear an announcement as to whether or not it is you to Shane Ring next? Say that again. How quickly would you like to see, if it is going to be Anthony for you next, how quickly would you like to see something announced? Let's say, like, oh, um, announcement wise, maybe, I don't know how long it takes, bro, but hopefully this fight can be around May, June, July times. Uh, Josh, I'll leave a final word to you. Anything you want to leave on, anything you'd like to send out to all your fans, your followers, especially on the back of last week as well? I'm grateful for all the support from myself and Dan. And um, keep supporting, man. Hopefully these big British fights that people want to see will happen. You have a message to Anthony? Let's get a cracking, bro. Um, it's simple. There's, 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 um, my man here is laughing at me because he said, Josh, you should have said to him, Anthony, I want you next. But come on. He knows that. The message is simple. When they ask me, to elaborate, I said it's simple. This is the fight that I want next. There's not much to say about it. I have to ask, I'm going to squeeze one more out of you. I asked you in before the Dan Aziz fight on Thursday, are you tired about talking about it because it's gone on so long? Do you feel the same with the Anthony Yard fight or is it different because you haven't had the cancellation before, previously? Well, that fight is closer than ever, so I'm not tired about talking about it right now. So hopefully it can happen and we can put it to bed. Joshua, thank you. Thank you, bro.